do a quick little lesson, improve a point. We hear this quite a bit where, especially as you guys go to OJT and you get out in the field, there's a lot of times he says, oh, do you really need a torque wrench? You know, and you're like, ah, good enough, or that's, that's tight enough for this or that. So we're going to do an example here where uh, one of my students here, Tyler and I, we're go. going to torque a set of fasteners here on a Harley intake manifold. And we're going to show you on a real bike how crowded this area is once you start to put the frame and and the rocker covers and everything are in place this is really common that people will take the specialty tool and they'll just crank down on as, as that's tight enough does that make sense yeah. the other thing that this is going to do guys is it's going to you know we talk a lot at the college about training with a sports mentality right even this year changed my name to coach here being funny is that if you want to get good at something you've got to practice it over and over and over you need to challenge yourself when you have opportunities to tighten a bolt and then we're going to check it with a digital torque wrench to see how close was i was my elbow quote unquote able to click at eight pounds or am i way over see what that looks like you know today we were doing a hilly coil on a on a case bolt that was broke here and we say that the reason the way to get good at something is to do it over and over and over when it doesn't matter and then when it does you can rock and roll it. So you ready for this challenge? Let's do it. Okay, so I have no doubt, I'm gonna look at my crystal ball and see the future, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm probably going to way over torque this bolt from what I think this compression fitting feels like. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with mine. Okay, I feel that's tight, you can do yours. And we're trying to be really honest and authentic here. This is not meant to kinda show off or make something go the way that we want that the way i tighten that faster right now to me felt correctly compressed if that makes sense loosen it quite a bit you did a lot more earlier he's faking i'm telling you that right now he's yeah. faking it <laughs> so i said authentic yeah yeah i know <laughs> Jeez. okay now we're gonna go to torque wrench okay so what we can do here, I'm gonna call him out. Yeah, call Stupid me out. Or not. Call me out. You babied that. You like? Nyeh. Well, 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 nothing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead here. We're gonna go per the manual. They say eight to twelve pounds. Yep. So let's see here. Inch pounds. <laughs> ah, dang it! I keep flipping right through foot pounds. Okay, you could see where we were playing earlier. Okay. I'll just start at 10 and see, I'll go all the way to eight. I know mine's more than eight pounds, right? So I'll go ahead here and try to do this where you can see the wrench here. Okay, now watch what we're able to do. This is what I mean by practice, okay? It didn't move, the bolt did not move, so I'm eight pounds. So I'll just go to, I'm gonna go to 10. I know that I'm, just knowing me, I know it's yeah. a lot tighter than that, okay? Okay, 10. Let's go to the max, we're at 12, okay? And you see how, to, this is cool, this snap on wrench here will read actual applied torque. So we're 12.4. Let's go 14, see if the bolt moves. Nope, still not, I'm 13.8. Let's go to 17 here. Still, the bolt is still not moving. So we're significantly over torqued, right? Let's yep. let's try and see where where my elbow clicked yep. at. Go 22. I could feel it yeah. just starting it to was, move. I could feel starting. that bolt just starting to move. Okay. Okay, around 24 foot pounds. We're gonna come back to that in a second here. Let's let's do Tyler's. He's trying awful hard to win here. This isn't a contest. <laughs> now let's go ahead and you can just check yours. All right. Maybe go ahead and hop in there. Monroe, maybe you can come around here and catch the camera. Go ahead. So we're at eight, right? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Did your bolt move? Just slightly. Yeah, so it means that he cheated so bad. He didn't even, you didn't even attempt to tighten yeah. it enough. You guys, <laughs> always trying to win one up. Now, come here. Yeah. Oh, well, I won't play by the rules, ding people. So look here in the manual. I want to make a point here. Manual's eight to 12 foot pounds, right? So look at this chart we drew up, used a little bit of math. We talk about what would stock be so if you torque a bolt meant for 12 only to 15, 
you're 25% over torqued. At 18 foot pounds, that meant it was 50% over torqued. Look at me, I was 100% over torqued. Okay, double, 100% more than designed what's meant to happen by trusting my elbow. That means that I have to rely on this. Okay, take a look here. I got a couple bolts to show you. When you over tighten bolts, here's a good example, and here's one that's starting to stretch, is you will fatigue that bolt at some point to the where it starts to stretch. It's gonna break in use, or it's going to um, ultimately break as you're tightening it, which creates a whole nother mess. You're gonna end up having to, you know, maybe drill that out or something. It's a, it's a mess. We don't want that. Does that make sense? Let's finish this video up. We'll go to real bikes. Grab that specialty wrench. So we got <laughs> we got our cameraman here, Monroe, his project on the sporty, and on this one it has wide flanges, and you can get a wrench in here, so you could do a crow's foot or a specialty wrench. It's going to be a lot easier to torque that properly, the torque wrench, and some some custom tools, but easily and available. Now look at Keegan's. So Keegan here, he has this fuel injected. You know, Evo, and we're talking, we got to try and get all the way down in here. And you can see the challenge that these top ones are easy enough to get to and get a torque wrench in there. But the back ones aren't so easy without, once again, getting some adapters and so on. And watch our other videos in our playlist uh, on torque and fasteners or whatnot. We have a whole bunch of stuff about using extensions. And if you're not perfectly on an angle, uh, you're going to alter what that torque reading really is, so it's something to consider. But I would say this, guys. I mean, and you guys listen to me. Else, entry level tax, season tax. I don't care who it is. Whenever you're trusting your elbow versus a calibrated tool that you have at your disposal, I think there's some risk involved in that. <clears throat> I would say this. I would say go go to the shop, grab something you can tighten up. Go ahead and torque that to what your elbow fills at, you know, whatever the spec is. I don't care if it's a head bolt, I don't care if it's a cover. And then check it against a torque wrench and find out how far are you off. You know, in the example here with, with Tyler, he was under. So if you're under torqued, it's gonna fall off, right? And if you're over torqued, you're looking at the fact of stretching the bolt, having a problem, and then uh, or, or causing damage if that stretch so bad and you slip with the wrench, it's 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 no good in either of those. Uh, particular cases that we're using an example. So is that, that kind of a fun experiment today to, to be able to challenge yourself? Yes, you know, and see, you know, how, how good your elbow is. That's my tip of the day.